Today I'm going to shave this head. It's a head for my plush pattern that I've been working on. It's going to be for this character's body. And uh, right now it's a little bit shaggy, and so I'm going to um, improve the appearance of this and make it look much smaller because this is about uh, two inch fur on here. And I'm going to use this shaver and uh, a couple of guards and some oil, and I'm going to shave this head. Another thing is uh, I've got a comb, just a plastic comb, and uh, if you're doing this at home, I would recommend uh, combing all your seams out first. I've already done that, and uh, so it looks pretty good. I don't see very many seams, because you'll want to be able to shave those uh, down, and if you shave it down and those seams are stuck in, the first stuck in the seams, then you won't be able to get, well, you have to go back over your, your thing again. You'll have to trim it again once you brush it. I've got a couple of different fur lengths on here as well. I've got some three inch fur that's on the cheeks where I want the cheeks to be. And it's hard to recognize what shape it's supposed to be right now, but it is a canine face. So, I get some, get started. I'm going to snap on my longest guard because I'm going to start trimming just a little bit. I'm going to go over it with the long guard first, go down uh, the next, the next and then down to the shortest and then do any details that I need to uh, with a bare blade. So I'll start with this one here. As you can see with this blade, I've only got a little bit of fur coming off, just the very tips, so since I'm not getting results with the longest blade, I'm going to go down to the next level. So I've got a 3 8 here. Snap that one on, see if I can get some results with that one. So I've done a, a pretty thorough once over just on the face portion of my head and uh, some of the features are looking a little bit more defined. I'm going to go down to my next guard and then that way I can get a little bit more details in. I'm doing this gradually so um, I don't just cut big gouges out of my fur right away. If you do it gradually with your guards, you'll be able to take just a little bit of fur off at a time. You'll be able to recognize if you're making a mistake and where you're cutting your fur, and uh, you'll take it just a little bit slower and be a little bit more careful with it. That's what I want to do. So I want to be pretty careful because it's just a small piece, uh, and I want it to look really good. I want to do a good job. So I'm getting a little bit more definition. I'm going to go over it more and more and more. And uh, each time I go over it, I get just a little bit more fur off. And uh, I get a little bit closer to my design. Um, this particular head is stuffed just a little bit. And I'm going to stick my head, hand in there and get just a few more areas. just want a little bit more control. I'm sticking my hand in there. To check how even your shave job is, you can always fluff it back out and it'll kind of see where I've gotten some areas a little bit shorter and some areas that are still a little bit shaggy so then uh, I can work on those areas again. Uh, it also helps to kind of comb just a little bit to see how far down the shave is in that area and uh, kind of arrange the fibers just a little bit different way to be able to be caught by the clipper blades. So pretty important to stop every so often and make sure that your clipper is cleaned out. You can see that my clipper needs cleaned out. All the fur that's stuck in the back of this blade here. I've got a little tiny brush right here that I'm going to use to kind of encourage it to come out. Usually when I stop and clean out my blade I also put a little drop of oil on it. When you put oil on your blade, you just want to put a little bitty drop and let it come all the way across. Sometimes there's excess. That's okay. You want to run it a little bit to get that blade oil in there. And then I've got a tissue that I'll use to just dab it off since I want to be able to shave again right away. 
this just dabs it off the outside. You don't want to kind of let it soak up or anything. You want that blade oil to be on there. Okay, I'm getting pretty happy with the length so far. I'm going to go down another guard, brush out my blade just a little bit. Looks like it still has plenty of oil on there. I'm going to go down to my shortest guard so far. You can see my shape's really coming out nicely. It's starting to look like a uh, dog face with some fluffy cheeks. And uh, it's got a little longer on the back of the head. That's fine. But uh, it's really the face that I want to, to be shorter. And then the cheeks to be longer. Just like uh, how my character looks. You can see as I'm getting down to the seam, you can kind of tell that the seam is there. Uh, on most sewn items, especially like this plush like I'm making, you're, you're really going to still have a seam no matter what. And uh, it still is going to look fine as a plush. You won't be able to see the seam from every angle, but you can still tell there's a seam, and that's okay. As I'm coming up on this cheek area, I'm kind of trying to preserve the area that's longer, so I'm letting the guard kind of be a judge on how far I should go. You can see the, the edge of the guard as I put it in the fur. You can still tell that the edge of the guard is there. So you can see I've worked this side of the face a lot more compared to this side of the face that uh, needs a little more work. This one's looking really good. Let's see what the cheeks, cheeks look like all brushed out. Oh, that looks pretty good. So here's the, here's the cheeks. So that'll look pretty nice once it's on my character. I haven't attached the ears yet. I'm going to sew those on separate. But uh, that's looking pretty nice. this a little bit so I know what I'm doing here. Match it up with the other side. I'm also working both my left hand and my right hand as I shave so I can kind of get in the angles without having to manipulate my arm too much. Oh, looking pretty good, looking pretty even. There's still a few parts that uh, just have a little bit longer fur, but uh, as I work it more and more, I gradually shave off those layers and really get an even shave by using the guards and uh, going over the form.
another break and oil out my thing. Getting a lot of build up on there, so. And I'm just going to put a drop. let it sink in there. I'm just going to dab off a little bit of the excess again. You'll eventually get to the point where you can't shave down everything and you do have to go unguarded. When you do, be really, really careful because uh, if you go too deep, that's the end. You've cut it. You've cut it pretty deep then. So just make sure to be really extra careful. Usually I'll do a little bit of combing on my thing before I go unguarded just to make sure I've got all the long hairs out of everywhere that need to be cut. It's just about the length I want it. I want it to match my plush here. I've got my head, so it looks pretty good almost. When I do this, I make really level cuts the direction the fur goes. So I'm going just like this with my shaver, getting the extra fur off, and just going like this. That way it just cuts just a little bit, as long as you go the direction the fur goes. You know, there shouldn't be any like crazy cuts. Certainly I don't want to come at it like this. I just go even with the fur, do a little bit of a time. There's still the potential to go a little bit too short, like I did here, but uh, I don't think it looks terrible, so I think I'll be okay with it. So it's got a really even surface. Let's see how I did. Bluff it out. Put my hand in there and fill it out a little bit. Brush out the cheeks. I really like how it looks so far. I'm going to be touching it up as I put like the eyes and the facial features in. Uh, once I do my needle sculpting, which uh, I use a pretty large needle and some embroidery floss. Needle sculpting is a technique where you can sculpt in the face using your thread. And In this case I've got embroidery floss and you'll sculpt your features using that thread and tie knots and pull that tighter to make your face features. For now I'm just shaving, but uh, that's how I get a smooth result on my stuffed animals and even my fursuit heads. It's a pretty good technique. Uh, it takes a little while, obviously, but I think it really gives a nice polished result. Thank you for watching my video.